Funky Vintage here. Welcome back to my channel, my Funko friends. I am so excited because we just got in the mail box number nine from Possible Purpose, and I am so excited. And I don't know if it's just me, but this seems like a bigger box than what we got the last time. So I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. But, anyways, this arrived. We have Box number nine, hot up the press. So guys, again, for those of you that don't know, this was a $40 damage, excuse me, not damage. This was, well, I think there was slight damage, but I'm not worried about damage. For me, if you saw my last video, I collect for the fun and nostalgic factor. I don't really worry too much about value. I don't really worry too much about, like, the if there's any damage to it. I'm not one of those, like, pristine, you know, mint kind of... Funko snobs or whatever. I just, I, I collect for the fun of it. So again, so Michael and Faith uh, had, our, I believe it was 23, 24 mystery boxes. So as you saw, I dived into 16. So now we're about to dive into 9. As I had mentioned in my last video, excellent packaging. So nothing was going anywhere in this box during shipment. So thank you, Michael and Faith, not only for the special touch with the tape, but the quality shipping and I'm sure quality care and packaging just like I got in my last box. Right, now you guys see why I normally cut these open but sometimes I like to save this for you guys but normally I cut into it because it takes me a little bit but once this arrived I wanted to make sure that I dived in with you guys. I didn't want to open it early but sometimes that's why I dive into boxes early because it, it takes me a little bit. Okay so not looking so we got the box. Alright guys, so we got some bubble mailers inside. We'll go ahead and get rid of those first. I feel some bubble wrap. So, just off first touch and feel, I feel we got some extras. We've got, not looking, we got a possible purpose sticker. Very cool. We got a possible purpose sticker. Alright, we've got some magazine. We've got, oh, we got a BAM pop, hold on, let me close the box so I'm not looking inside. So we got a BAM pop culture. I believe this is an art print. So it's signed by, yep, so it's number 269 out of 2000, and it's, it's the Flash, and it's signed by the artist. So that's really cool. I, I don't have a band box. I've never had a band box, so that's really cool. Nice nice little personal thing. I know that uh, Michael will face it that there would be some extras in the boxes, so I'm excited about that. All right, guys, enough flabbergasting. Let's, so all I feel is bubble wrap. Honestly, when I feel around, all I feel is bubble wrap. I can't tell you how many or what's what, so I'm just kind of pulling... What I feel is extra. Okay, so let's go with what's closest to me. All right, so let's wait. Hold on. I think we have another one of those comics. Yep, we have another one of the comics. Who is he? I will dive into that later on. I'm trying to do this without peeking. I don't want to peek. All right, so first pop we have. I'm going to show you guys first, and then I'm going to look down to see what it is. Because I have a habit of looking to see what it is before it's actually out of the package. So I want to show you guys first, and then I will show myself. Let me close the box. All right. We have, okay, cool. So we've got what looks like a Crash Bandicoot. Oh, okay, so it's a Toys R Us exclusive. So most of you probably know we don't. We no longer have Toys R Us. Someone told me that there's going to be a resurgence soon. I believe it's going to be called Jeffrey or Joffrey's Toy Box. I know there's still Toys R Us in Canada, but we don't have any in the states. So that's very cool. Toys R Us exclusive. Don't have a whole lot of Toys R Us exclusive, so that will be probably put into my collection. Uh, I grew up playing PlayStation and Crash Bandicoot and Crash Bandicoot Racing, so. Awesome first pop from the box, not upset about that. All right, let's go for the next one. All right, so we've got the second one right here. Again, I'm not gonna peek, I'm gonna show you guys first and then I will look down to see what it is. All right guys, let's see, I don't know if this is the front or the back, so I'm gonna show you guys first. It feels like a protector, it feels like a protector. I think this is the top, all right, what do we got? Whoa, okay, I don't collect Game of Thrones, but this is like an OG, yeah, if this is number 11, this is like an OG Game of Thrones pop. So this is Cer Cersei Lannister. I apologize if I'm saying that name wrong. I've never watched Game of Thrones. Um, like I said, slight damage up here, but again, I'm not worried about it. I don't care. It's all about the fun and nostalgic factor. So this is this is a cool looking pop. It's got some weight to it, too. So I know nothing. I know that Game of Thrones was on HBO, but I don't know much about it. But I'm pretty sure this is an OG because it's number 11. And I think that there, there was a lot that were made for Game of Thrones, obviously because of its popularity. So according to this, this is this edition too, but still, it's number 11, so that's really cool, and it's in a protector, so I've got to believe that there probably is some value to that, but again, I don't collect for value reasons, so 
that's really cool. Happy to add that in my collection. Like I said, I don't really watch Game of Thrones. I don't know too much about it besides it was on HBO. But still, I'm not upset about it. All right, guys, let's get some of this bubble wrap out of here. So it feels like we have an oversized pop in here. At first, I thought it was a two-pack. This feels much bigger than a two-pack. So, guys, what is this? All right. All right, this is whatever this is. It's Whopper. It's massive, whatever it is. So, again, now looking, I'm going to show... I think that might be everything in the box. So this is this is a heavy. I know he said there's a possibility of, I believe it's pop rides. Is that what they're called? That's what it feels like to me as a pop ride. Again, I'm not looking. I just want to get this bubble wrap off first, and then I will look down. So I'm going to show you guys first, and then I will show myself. So, ah, package very well. I didn't mention that before. Okay. <laughs> is it like inside? I'm so confused. Unless I'm just, <laughs> I can't, okay, there we go, now I feel it. I think, all right, I don't know what I was doing, I couldn't get to it somehow, some way. All right. <laughs> now you guys see why I dive into stuff early, because this is what I run into. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How did you even get this thing in here? Oh my god, okay. All right, we finally have secured the package. We've secured the child. All right. I don't know if this is the front or back. What is this? What is this? It feels like a sticker. What is this? All right. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> oh. Wow. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Wow. Okay, so... I'm experiencing a wave of emotions right now, all in the best ways possible. Okay, so first and foremost, let me tell you what this guy's is. What this is. This is the Disney Parks exclusive Splash Mountain, guys. Okay. So this is insane. This is incredible for many, many reasons. Number one, I do not have any pop rides in my collection. Number one. Number two, I do not have any Disney Parks exclusives. So that's two for two right there. But more than anything else, guys... You know how they say that a certain photograph or maybe a Funko Pop can take you back to a memory or a certain place and time in your life? Guys, for those of you that don't know, before I lived in Michigan, I lived in Florida, okay? And this is nostalgic for me because Splash Mountain is one of the first rides that I ever went on when my family and I went to Disney World for the very first time ever. So this is a grail piece for me. I don't know how much it's worth, and again, I don't really care i'm not going to look up value because it's from friends but it's just the fun and nostalgic factor and this every time i look at this it will always remind me of my youth and it will always remind me of the first time my family and i ever went to disney world and this was the first ride that i ever went on so not only michael and faith but to all my funko friends i wish that you guys could experience the feeling that's going through my body right now because like i want to cry because i'm so happy but i won't but this is just this is above and beyond. Like, this is incredible. This is going to be proudly displayed in my collection. It's not going anywhere. It never will go anywhere. Like I said, it's just amazing to me that a pop can take you back to a certain time and place and memory in your life. And I just could not be more grateful. And so, like I said, Michael and Faith and all my Funko friends, I wish you could know how much I love this. And so I hope that my expression and my words really relay that. I'm going to try not to get too sentimental, but I can't help it. This is just very sentimental for me. It just reminds me of just happy, amazing times um, on vacation, you know, with my family when I was younger. So just, I, 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 wow, I'm just, I'm at a loss for words. This is just, I believe that's everything from the box, which I'm okay with that. Oh, it looks like we got a DVD too. Okay, we've got the Goonies. Okay, so on a, on a happier laughing note, I've never seen this movie before. I know it's iconic. I know it's a Steven Spielberg movie. I have never seen this before, so Michael, thank you for this. Now I will watch it. Once I watch it, I will let you know what I think of it. I hear nothing but good things. I've just never got around to watching it, so I've got this, and I've got the BAM box. I believe it's BAM box. The, the print, the flash print. So, guys, I think it's clear what my favorite poll was from this box, but I love everything. Guys, what was your favorite poll down from below? I love it all. I, like I said, I'm not going to look up value because it's from friends. And so it's all about the fun and nostalgic factor for me. And they hit that. And so like I said, guys, this was their first ever wave round of mystery boxes. And if you missed out on their boxes, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I was lucky enough to reach out to Michael 
uh, towards the end of these going live, and I asked, it, would it be okay if I purchased a second box because I really want to support you? They're always supporting myself and other fellow phone conference in the community. I said, would it be okay if I bought a second box? And so that was before I even realized the kind of fire that was going to be in these boxes and the kind of pulls that people were going to get. But like I said, this is all about fun and nostalgia and memories for me, and this this does that for me. Absolutely. So, Michael and Faith, thank you so much. I really sincerely hope that you guys do a 2.0 or a second round mystery box. If you do, you already know that I will be on board. But guys, make sure to not only follow Possible Purpose on Instagram. I will link them down below. Make sure to follow them on YouTube. I will link them down below. And Michael and Faith, thank you so very much again. If they do a second round of mystery box, which I hope they do, make sure to lock yourself down a box, guys, because you won't regret it. Thank you so very much, everybody, my Funko friends, for checking this out. I really sincerely appreciate your time and your viewership. What do you think of this box? Like I said, what was your favorite poll? I think it's clear what mine was. So that's going to be probably just my collection. Just thank you so much for just the amazingness. I, I am so excited. So as always, guys, Mikey Vintage here, signing off. Happy hunting, guys. I love all your faces. Collect what you love. Enjoy the thrill of the hunt. And until next time, guys, Mikey Vintage, signing off. Bye, guys.